Hi everyone, it's JJ here and welcome to Be Colorful! Today we're gonna create the second card using the Tonic Craft Kit number 50 and we're gonna use the paper flowers created in the first video using the Distress Oxide Sprays. We are going to see specifically how to create a decorative element with the quilling technique using the special tool included in the kit. So let's start creating card number two. As I already said, I gonna use these flowers created in the first video, so you can find the link below in the description box or by clicking on the tab that appears here on the top right. I decided to create a card with a vintage style and as a card base I gonna use this ready-made ivory card in standard size that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Let's start immediately with the creation of a beautiful uh, pot with the quilling technique. First I make a lot of strips of paper using uh, light blue cardstock. The thickness of this paper is 135 gsm. The length of the strips doesn't matter, but they must all have the same width. I cut them one quarter inch wide. And now let's start rolling the first strip on itself, inserting one end into the appropriate slot of the quilling tool. What I'm going to create will be a very large paper circle, and um, to do this I have to join many strips of paper and continue to roll them. In all I joined... Uh, 13 strips about 11 and a half inches long. I close the circle by applying glue on the end and now let's shape the pot by pressing the center of the circle down. You could use the pot if you want to make a 3D creation like a magnet or a placeholder. In this case, having to use it for a card, I flatten it in this way. And voila, it's delicious! Now I'm going to add some shade with the Distress Ink Vintage Photo, both to the pot and to the flowers. Then on some green cardstock, I'm gonna use uh, the one included in the kit 50. I get three strips of paper to create the flower stems. I roll the strip around the base of the flower. And the flowers are ready. Now I move on to creating a decorative frame that will frame the flower pot. To create the frame I'm going to die cut a panel on a gold mirror card with a satin finish. Then with a precision cutter I'm going to cut out the central part of the panel
I decided to create a background inside the frame. Therefore, I draw lines with a pencil in order to delimit the perimeter. I then proceed with the masking and the ink blending techniques, covering the areas of the card base, which I don't have to color, with masking tape. With a blending brush, I'm going to apply Distress Ink Antique Linen, and I darken up the edges with Distress Ink Vintage Photo. To add some interest to the background, I proceed with some random stamps, using this set by Tim Holtz, which contains various stamps with random text. To finish my background, I'm going to add some splashes of vintage photo diluted with water. And even a few drops of clean water. And now let's reveal the result. Creating our own background certainly takes uh, some time, but uh, what we get is very satisfying. Ok, we can start assembling the card. To give stability to the pot, I fill it with hot glue. For now, up to about half. For a more vintage look, I'm going to ruin the edges of the card base. Now let's glue the first flower. To glue the paper strips in the quilling, we have to proceed by putting a little glue on a surface and dabbing the strip of paper on top. I'm gonna proceed in the same way for the other two flowers. We 
Well, now to decorate the plant, I'm gonna create some kind of stems with the upper end rolled up. Finally, again with the quilling technique, I'm gonna create a few leaves. To make a leaf, we need to roll up a strip of paper. When the circle is ready, losing the grip in order to expand the circle a little bit, and close the circle, putting a dot of glue at the end. Then, Press a part of the circle to form a drop. After creating a bunch of leaves, I'm gonna glue them on the card. Now let's finish the pot. I fill it well with hot glue. And while it's still liquid, I sprinkle some brown glitter on top, simulating the soil. I also add a few drops of cream crystal drop and I move on to the sentiment, for which I decided to use a die of the Tonic Craft Kit 38. This die will deboss the sentence a little gift for someone special, of which, however, I gonna use only for someone special. I die cut on the gold satin mirror card and here is a trick to create elements that look like a bit old metal, so with a rust effect, we can dirty the mirror paper with a brown marker and clean up the excesses. Try not to touch the fresh color because it is sticky and fingerprint can remain imprinted. Now I just have to glue the sentiment, thus ending the second card for the kit 50. What to say, I love the final result of uh, this card. The flower pot is wonderful. What do you think about it? I recommend you try to create your card with uh, this technique. You will feel satisfied and you will create a very special card. I remind you that if you like, you can leave me a thumbs up and a comment below. Thanks for watching this video, see you next time, bye bye and be colorful!